Whoops. I literally clicked start streaming by accident. Whoops. Mistakes were made. Alright, what was I doing? God, that threw me completely all over the place. the hell? Nice damage. Okay, going back to single target. Ooh, big numbers. Love how the heal is trying to show the tank. What we gotta do. Big numbers. GG's. Where the hell's our tank? Yeah, he did. That's a badass looking dragon. Oh, what are we doing? What are we doing, guys? Let's focus up. Ooh, big damage. I don't want to know what. Okay, so you probably got to stay behind him. She really needs to heal our tank. What am I doing? Poison. Wind. There we go. Second song. Who 
Who's our other damage dealer? Seems they've got a, uh, like a gun sign. Interesting. Oh, I 100% want that. Come on, what? Big numbers. Oh, baby. Come on, tank. Listen, they're new. I really do think... I really do want to be a tank, but... I don't know, man. When you play like this, you just... <laughs> I don't know. Just noob tanks are just, you know... Interesting. But we all started there, right? So... Maybe I'm overthinking it. I think, I, I think I'm doing really, really good damage this dungeon. This might be the best dungeon I've done so far. Magic? Uh, I'll pass on that. Oh, look at that damage. Oh, there's more than one. Oh, there's more than two. I didn't see the guy at the back. Yeah, I'm doing- I, I feel like I'm just doing great this dungeon. One of the best I've done so far. Does this like work on everyone? No, just me. Okay, we're gonna do our song. We're gonna do wind po wind poison. And then single target. Target, here we go. Oh shit, he doesn't like me. Oh, is this the final boss? No, 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 I don't think so. Cool. Okay, second song, Barrage incoming. There it is. Hey, I love it. Keep, keep uh, trying to attack me. That's the best thing about being a bard. Move and attack, so it just doesn't hinder you at all. Yeah, this is where a bard shines. In a dungeon like this. I 
I'm gonna put poison and wind back on. Should have done that ages ago. I don't know what that red thing is on him. Yes, I got that spear, by the way. Okay, more volcanoes. Ah, uh, tornadoes. Getting our bard song back soon. There it is. Damage buff as well. Poison and wind reapplied. Not getting lucky with a straight shot. There we go, that's one. Someone should limit break. There we go. I was waiting for that. Nice. GG's. Well played. Wow, that wasn't even the final boss. That's a cool hat for a magic user. Oh, we're just getting magic here, unfortunately. We'll be able to fit 3LB at this pace. Or two if we're getting better. We're ready, bro. Let's do this. Oh, two, three, four. Big damage. I'm telling you, I'm popping off this dungeon. I said, don't let me, don't let me get good on the controller, man. I said it. And it's happening, ladies and gents. I am waiting for no tank. I am the tank. Look at these numbers. Oh man. I'm doing so well. Let's go. Let's keep it going. Okay. More loot that way? Nice, good find. I'm gonna have a sip of coffee. Oh, for God's sakes. Alright, let's do a damage buff. Look at these numbers, ladies and gentlemen. The numbers, Mason! Bye-bye! Got a song back on. Get a triple attack, why not use it? Back to single target. There we go. Ooh. Look, it's the Enterprise. Yes, just beyond that enormous sleeping dragon. <laughs> Show us the dragon then. Oh, she's a beauty. A dragon is not our concern. We've come for the airship and only the airship. Sid, you and I will sneak aboard the Air Enterprise and prepare it for launch. Amaria will fight the frickin' dragon. 
If it wakes, we may need you to provide a distraction until we are ready to depart. You can manage that, can't you? Yeah, man. I'll do all the combat in this game while you guys do nothing. That settles it then, shall we, Sid? As you command. <laughs> Please don't wake up. Please don't wake up. Please don't wake up. Ah, she. <laughs> so you mean to slay Garuda next? Interesting. Most interesting. And you are aware that her strength greatly exceeds that of your previous conquests. A testament to the fanatical devotion of her followers, Ixel are nothing if not zealous. In spite of your past achievements, I labor to believe that you will best this foe. Yet only a fool would underestimate a great bringer of light, Slayer Reefreak, Bane of Titan. If any mortal is capable of defeating the Lady Vortex, it is you. Win or lose, the battle should at least make for an entertaining spectacle, assuming of course you live that long. This guy and his summoning. Why do you even need to summon? Oh, that is a badass dragon. Dirgen! Alphanor the Dirgen. Hmm, hmm. Confound it all. <laughs> Sick. That shin's a badass. Let us see how well your blasphemous gifts serve you this time, Crystal Bearer. It's Durgan time. Legends. What a lovely, what a lovely group. I'm much, oh God, I'm, I'm choking, I'm choking. All right. Wind. Poison. Bard song. DPS. Triple attack. Boom, 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 boom. Here we go. Focus up. Oh shit, just one shot me. Oh hell no. Oh. No one told me you could do that. I'm saying with the healer. All right, reapplying poison, reapplying everything. Okay, we can't. I'm following her. Bam, bam. I can't believe I got one shot. That was crazy. Just because we have a healer doesn't mean we should leave everything to her, you know? If I've got a potion, I'll use it. Why not? Alright, get my buffs back. Putting poison back on. Ah, oh, for God's sakes. We've got a limit break here. Ha ha ha! truly is. Raids are like a dance in Final Fantasy. Get out of there! Mm-hmm. 
Alright, reapplying poison and wind damage and buffs are a go. <laughs> Using limit break, screw it. I don't know if I scuffed it or not. Either way, G freaking G's. What a fight. Shout out to this group. What a lovely group. I'm gonna give it to the healer because she. All oh, right, you know what? New tank. You get it. All right, loot wise, what are we getting? Lancer. I'm greeting. Former Turge. I can pass on that. What is this? An orchestra scroll? Why not? Oh, shit. <laughs> Blowing kisses and shit. That was a great dungeon. I think, regarding my class, that's the best I've done in the dungeon so far. Like, with what I think is my uh, attack commands. Obviously, you guys might disagree. Maybe I've messed up my... Uh, what's the word what they use in MMOs? I've forgotten it. Oh, I've completely forgotten it. You know when you press all the buttons correctly to min-max. Beautiful. And we've got one more to go. And I'm assuming that last one is Madame Garuda. Garud Fa Sandstorm. Dun, dun, dun. I can't even remember how Sandstorm goes. Mario, Mario, you're all right. Speak to me. <laughs> Twelve be praised. I feared the beast had injured you. Bro, I injured the beast, buddy. I see now why the others rated you so highly. When you were caught in the midst of that etheric bubble with the dragon, I was all but certain my next mission would be to find a new champion. Wow, moving on so quickly, Alfie. Thank the gods for sparing me that inconvenience. I have quite enough to do already, which reminds me, Sid is working on the Enterprise as we speak. Let us go and see what he has to say. I think that was Alfie trying to be nice, and I'll take it. What say you, Sid? Will she fly? Yes, though it will not be a pleasant ride. Well, I dare say it would be no more unpleasant than staying here. It is a pity the Enterprise is not in a better state. But if she will allow us to quit this place, I shall not complain. If all are in agreement, let us return to Gridania. Though I would like nothing more than to set course for the Howling Eye, it is plain the Enterprise is in no condition to weather the storm. She must needs be prepared. You've got this, Sid. This is all so familiar. I know this airship. If I could just... Ah, it's no use. You'll get your memory back soon, buddy. Let's -a go! What a little arc we had here in this ice area. I enjoyed it so much. Now, where are we? Gridania? Gridania. Ah, how I've longed for more agreeable climate of the Twelvewood. Yet, I will not deny the Holy Sea had its charms. Endless details aside, our Ishgardian jaunt proved quite an adventure. It really did. 
Alas, our work is far from done. We still have an airship to repair and a primal to slay. No rest for the heroic, eh? Mount speed in the Cortes Central Highlands has increased. Great, it's increased after I'm bloody done with it. Into the eye of the storm. <clears throat> Come on, give us some voice acting. Calms me to look at her. It's as though I've been reunited with a part of me I never knew was missing. Hardly surprising, you did design and build her. Oh, that's out. This guy needs a good meal. <clears throat> I bear good news. The Seed Seers have granted our request to house the Enterprise. We may take as long as we require to repair her. Of course, it would be rank folly to take one moment more than we require. Garuda, lest we forget, grows stronger by the hour. If we are to have any hope of wrestling this benighted realm from her talents, it must needs be soon. Though I am no expert on the working of airships, it seems plain to me that this enterprise suffered much from her time in the wilderness. Am I not correct, Sid? Yes, you know it all, twerp. It's a miracle she carried us this far. As you know, the Howling Eye is encircled by a raging tempest apt to turn proud trees to matchwood. Our battle will end before it begins if the Enterprise cannot weather the storm. Given time, I believe I can fully repair her. But if this tempest is as fearsome as you say, even that may not be enough. Confound it, there must be a way, a way to brave the furries. The elements, but of course, that's it. We work upon the elements itself. Using the power of a corrupted crystal, we could clear a path through the storm and spare the Enterprise a battery. I see. You propose to utilize the properties of a crystal to alter the elemental aspect of the barrier. It seems so childishly simple in retrospect. Though mayhap not to you, Amaria, we speak of the manifestations of over-respected ether that can be found throughout Eorzea. Since the calamity disrupted the land's aetheric currents, such crystals have become comparatively commonplace, which has been a cause of great woes they are known to warp aetheric energies, including those of living organisms. The point is, we can theoretically use a corrupted crystal to convert the wind-aspected ether comprising Garuda's barrier into ether of another aspect, one she cannot control. With certain mods, the Enterprise should be able to deliver us to the Howling Eye in comfort, however hard Garuda blows. But we are getting ahead of ourselves. All of this rests upon our ability to procure a crystal with the necessary properties. Have you any idea where we might acquire one? No, but I know a man who might. A scholar by the name of Lambert, who resides in Camp Drybone. Strange as it may sound, I met him during my time at the church. Well, Marquise met him, I suppose. Whether out of pity or for want of a more will willing listener, he would talk to me for hours at a time about his aphoric studies, crystals being his pet subject. It was as a result of these conversations that poor Marcus was observed to possess an uncommon net of theoretical science. Amario, I need you to return to Fanelan and seek out the scholar. Sid and I will set about repairing the Enterprise in your absence. Alfie, you haven't got a clue how to repair this thing. <sighs> I really would have. That would have. I feel like that should have been voice acted. That was a, a lot of info to take in. So you want to be a carpenter? Yeah, I really haven't gotten into carpentry and stuff like that. Like, I don't know if it's good for me. That's where I that's where I miss live streaming this game. Um, I miss live streaming this game when people help me with stuff like that. New game plus? Huh. Cool.
I'm absolutely... I'm so happy I came back to play this. I'm having a lot of fun. Where is this guy in here? Yeah. Alright, Lambert. Mm, well, yes, I'm Professor Lambert. Beg pardon, you wish to hear about my research and corrosive crystals? Truly? Well, nothing would give me greater pleasure than to discuss my work with a fellow man of science. Bro, why does everything I get look trash? Then you get this that just. That just looks badass. Meanwhile, us mages and bloody what's it called get archers and a bloody Eda bandana. I mean, I'll take it. Look, look at this Mithril outfit. Oh, that is so cool. Except for the fact that it's a bloody crop top. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. What do I get? Okay, okay, that's pretty nice. Dandelion vibes. Ah, uh, so rare is it to find fellow intellectuals in this region. It is even rarer to find one capable of comprehending the nature of corrupted crystals. Come to think of it, there was another, a hermit, to whom the church had given sanctuary. Curious fellow. That's Sid. <clears throat> but to the matter at hand, did you say you wish not to conduct field observations, but to harvest the corrupted crystal? He guides man. At least take the necessary precautions so that you do not suffer from exposure to its harmful energies. I'm beginning to wonder if you've sufficient qualifications to handle such hazardous materials. Still, your ignorance is somehow endearing. Luckily for you, I have precisely the means by which these inherent dangers may be averted. Simply saw the crystal you seek within this warded pot to protect yourselves from its deleterious effects. Though I suppose you will be bombarded with its energies until you place it within the vessel. Perhaps it will motivate you to work quickly. In any case, take the pot the Hahasako. That name is 100% a Lala fell. A student of mine monitoring the flow of Aether at Highbridge. Explain to him your quest and he shall instruct you in the final points of crystal harvest. Cool. Oh, I'm fast here. Nice. I went the wrong way. Well, since I went this way... First of all, we do that. You know what? I'm going to start wearing the... What's it called? Why not? Screw it. Um, cool. Level 12, so this might be... Half. It will be alright, hopefully. That's some big damage. Oh shit. Oh, these sounds. Holy crap, that took a while. Let's get spicy. Ooh, 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 too spicy. Screw it, I'm doing it. We get a big attack here. Kill him. Then we hit Bloodlust. And get that nice health buff. If 
few more and we got this. Big numbers, big. Oh, I got a new spell. What is that? Bloodbath. Converts a portion of physical damage dealt to HP. Wait, I thought this did that. Ensures critical damage for first weapon skill. Increased damage dealt when under an effect. Wait, what? There it is. Absorbs a portion of damage dealt as HP. Okay. Converts a portion of physical damage dealt to HP. Alright, this is a long cast. So that actually can stay there. Okay. This is quite a long one as well, I'm not going to lie. So eventually we could move this here. Alright. Uh, where's the main story again? It's here, right? Well, that's brilliant because... There seems to be a lot of uh, fates nearby it as well. Level 26. Oh. Level 26. There's no way we could do that, right? Nope. 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 Oh yeah, I forgot about that spirit bond thing. I called it. Ha ha, Sako. How many times must I be made to explain myself? I'm not contemplating suicide, you imbecile. I've chosen this precise precision to perform scientific measurements. What the hell? Bro, you're a la la fell. You could commit suicide from a freaking top of the stairs. We know you're not doing it, don't worry. Um, what have we here? A containment vessel. Why, this is the handiwork of Professor Lambert. You thieving knave, I shall call for the... Oh, you said a man himself lent it to you. You must have sought me out by his instruction, which means he believes me experienced enough to expound upon you his explanation. At last, the recognition I said rightfully deserve. Yeah, yeah, mate. <clears throat> oh, Frabris... Okay. I should be chosen to guide this man. Yes, I, Hahasako, greatest of the Professor Lambert's pupils, shall see that you successfully quarry your quarry. Your time is impeccable, in fact. I was just preparing to procure corrupted crystals from the burning wall. There, the devastating destruction caused by the calamity has blessed us with a bounty of sublime specimens. But something tells me that naught but a perfect piece will satisfy your high standards, in which case, you must descend to the deepest depths. Amidst the flowing waters and the murderous mirror nights lies the most fantastic formation I've found thus far. Take this highly advanced researcher's tool and use it to separate a small fragment from the large cluster. All right. Oh, we're going in. I don't think we've ever been in this burning wall. Don't want to miss the entrance, so I will... What a lovely area, though. Okay, entrance is this way. Cool. Whoa. Oh, we're gaming, ladies and gentlemen. We are so gaming. Oh, this area is so cool.
beauty caused by destruction. Oh, so that's a mirror knight. Interesting. Now, this looks like it's going to be a nightmare to traverse. Like, how the hell am I supposed to know? Bro, this looks so good. I have no idea what this could be. It has to be below us, right? Okay, how do you, without jumping, just naturally get down there? I can't, I can't even jump. Oh, I'm lost. Um... This is where this game's map system struggles. I knew it would be a nightmare to traverse. Now you're going to be quite tough. I think that is the play, I'm not gonna lie. I don't remember how to get out of there. <laughs> the good thing is we're really fast. Wait, what's the, how do you just leave? Yeah, I guess this is the best way to leave. We're zooming. <clears throat> oh, Hehe Baro, I remember him. I 
see you come galumphing back. I've learnt so many words in this game. It's a crystal. What a prodigiously large and lovely crystal. Lambert will be doubtless chortled with joy when you present it to him in person. Oh, and upon your return, do remember to recount how I helped you with your harvesting. So I have to go back to bloody Lambert? I was just there! Wait. Hey, nine. Bad hair day? <laughs> Whoever just called their character Sakura has just made them useless in every raid, every dungeon they're in. So that's just a huge debuff right there. Um, my keen scholar sense tells me you've obtained a corrupted crystal. Am I right? If you would grant me a moment to examine it. Ah, is that as you desire? A corrupted crystal overflowing with wind aether. Mm, remind me for what purpose did you intend to use this crystal again? What? To breach a barrier comprised of wind inspected aether? Oh dear, that may prove problematic at this crystal, but only serve to strengthen the barrier. I suppose I'm at fault for not inquiring as to your objectives. Oh, for God's sakes. You don't understand methods necessarily to safely collect a corrupted crystal. Your doubts have no difficulty doing so once more. What's more, the crystal you collected can serve as an invaluable resource for the ethereal studies conducted by the students of Baldizian. You've heard of them? Well, I don't mean to boast, but I have a professional relationship with York. Not as equals, of course. I would never be so bold to claim that level of expertise. But you're right. Your eyes seem to have glazed over for a moment. Anyway, I shan't keep you from your task. You still have got the crystal to find. Thanks, man. Yosh! Alright, the final piece of the puzzle, hopefully, because we get trousers as well. Um, they're not ca that common, to be honest. Fortunately, one of my other students, Chiena, claims to have discovered another promising site in Eastern Lenosha. Well, that's not correct. Eastern Lenosha was where she was nearly killed when wandering too close to an Imperial Castrum. Haha. <laughs> and that made for an amusing anecdote. It was Western. I can't recall her exact reason. Something to do with one of Dalamud's talents or some such nonsense. Uh, she's still at a port. Why not travel there and see if Chiena's inquiries bear fruit? Alright, to Aleport we go. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, that guy just flew. What the hell is this woman? Gosh darn it, milady! Ah, eh, corrupted crystal, sir. I have no interest in being the butt of your jokes. If you know the reason for addressing me, kindly leave me be. Hey, yay, 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 yay! Well, I'll be damned, Professor Lambert did send you. Beg your pardon. It seems we got off on the wrong foot. I'm Sheena, greatest of the professor's pupils, which is doubtly why he bid you seek me out. Indeed, I'm an accomplished scholar with an extensive background in. Oh God, this is to me prattle on and on. I must have given this introduction a dozen times by now. Can I have these trousers? What? Why are they... <laughs> Why are they so bad? But everything else has been great. Uh... Okay, I must be wearing really good trousers. Oh, those are cool. Mm. Those are nice. Yeah, I'll take the money. As I told the professor and many misses, I believe that the area surrounding Feral Sirius is, to, is replete with corrupted crystals of exceptional strength. Unfortunately, I've yet to test my hypothesis as all access to the Isles of Umbra is prohibited at present. For reasons unknown to me, you see my attempts to acquire this info are often met with annoyance and disdain. It's rather puzzling since I always take the time to explain my motivations in great detail. Perhaps you'll have better luck resting info from the Yellow Jackets. Right, okay. Let's 
speedrunning tactic. Um. Come on. What are we doing here? Little bastard. Is that a bear? Oh, that is such a cool mount. <laughs> Inter infested with undead, you say? That is a very, very interesting development. Excuse me for a moment while I gather my thoughts. Worry not, I've given your findings some thought, and I've concluded that this talk of spirits is naught but folklore. As for why, all travel to the Isles of Umbra is restricted, or perhaps it's considered too dangerous. Well, anyway, while you were questioning those yellow jackets, I paid a visit to the local pub, since even an esteemed scholar like myself enjoys dulling her wits on occasion. Just there I heard tell of a man named Skyrim, who was recently detained after returning from, wait for it, the Isles of Umbra. So first I've heard of someone actually travelling to and from there, so I'm curious as to how he obtained permission. Mind having a chat with him? Okay, so we're in we're in we're in chat mode. It seems. I'm I'm totally okay with this. These quests are just easy XP. Now is he up or is he down? You never bloody know with this game. I think he's down. No, I think he's up. Oh, you bloody... <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, it's right there. <clears throat> I have to go back. She calls to me, sings to me. Ugh, oh, tell Memodia. I'm sorry. Give him this. He was right. Well, you could release me. Yes, release me. I will go and tell her. Let, let me go to her. But the he 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 Okay, well, after the amazing quests we've just been having, this game was due some uh, filler requests, so I'll allow it. I will allow it. Hey, Layla Llewellyn, what a lovely name. Bing, 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 bing. What does Skyrim have to say? Hmm, it's not terribly helpful. I kind of care less how much he misses his favourite bar wench. What was that about a man named Midoa? Well, I know that name. That's the bastard who grabbed my ass the other day at the pub. Anyway, <laughs> if you want to give him that feather, be my guess. I'm not going anywhere near him in his wandering hands. Jeez. Well, at least it's realistic.
another initiate, are you? No? Come on, you speak up son, I can't hear you. Oh, bugger me, is this what I think it is? Nah, couldn't be. You found this, yeah? So where do you say you found it? Skyrim, you say? So I to have a word with the lad, but it sounds like there's naught left. He was supposed to help patch up Pharaoh's series or the company sent me to supervise a lot of them. Weren't getting work done in their own sea. Half of them walked off, half of them ran off, and half of them vanished. What's that? You're looking for a patch to the Isles of Umbral? Why don't you say so? I've been thinking of dispatcher. So I want to take a look on behalf of Oldman Medoa. Tell them how the land lies. Ain't nobody been interested till you came a calling. Old port's up in arms about spirits and so forth. If I had a girl, I'd hire some sellsword and let them sort it out. But you'll do. Okay. That actually sounds fun. <laughs> Just about made that. So you went and had a word with Medoa. Hope valued the time you saw fit to waste about something. I mean, that disgusting creature was Skyfen superior. By the way, I just realised it was Mimidoa who grabbed her ass, and he's a freaking lol. Anyway, I find it hard to believe that this passage does appear to be genuine, so it must be true. I must say it's a relief to work with such an industrious man as you. Look forward to hearing of your discoveries you'll make on the Isles of Umber. Fine, fine. I failed to see the justification of dragging me along on your journey, but if you insist, I will go as well. But 12 is my witness. If you leave me behind to be devoured by some horrid abomination, I should come back to haunt you. Oh, cool. <laughs> Speak with the skipper. Where are we going? <laughs> Take me to the Isles of Umbra, he bids, as if it's simple as, oh, I see you've got a right of passage. All right, climb aboard. Where? Are we going? The Isles of Umbral. What the hell? Cool. This this doesn't seem all that bad. <laughs> I'm not saying I'd like to build a summer home here, but what the hell's of it? Here, take your pot and go on without me. You've harvested corrupted crystals before, right? So it isn't as though you require my assistance. Speak to the man guarding the gate. I'm sure I'll let you in. Now, if you would please excuse me. Oh, she's out of here. <laughs> Bloody Senna. David. Beg your pardon, sir, but how do you come here? Access this island is currently restricted. An old pot. I'm not sure I fall. Oh, I see you wish to have a corrupted crystal. Sorry. We may have to return empty-handed. Now, why on earth is that, David? 